Hi guys, it's me Ersin Tezbaşaran. This is the different topic to show you by me. You know, you can follow me on YouTube and blog page alleducators.blogspot.com. We are gonna start to practice coding on code.org and maybe you heard that or not. It's one of the learning platforms uh, with courses and projects for everyone. You know, computer science is a big area. Coding is also part of it. With this practice, you can start with uh, your children or scholars even being at the age of five. Let's start it. Okay, um, when you go to google.com on the, your internet browser and you just you can type there code.org and in, after then you can find it inside of the browser. Just you can come down or the, the, the right side of the uh, page code.org you can click the link and this is the this is the main page and as you see here the, the the first page here and many people they are using this code.org and you can create from uh, that site any uh, project any course and a lab activity and let's let's start in with the sign and if you have account uh, for example google and a facebook and a microsoft account you can enter in with this and just I'm uh, clicking here uh, Ersin Tezbasharan this is my email and also you can click that this, this is the optional if you want you can select your uh, race or ethnicity and if not if you you can click that the close now when you come down uh, what we have inside of that if you want to go to any course you're clicking to find a course and after then you know that there are some uh, catalogs for example great uh, kindergarten to 5 6 to 12 and the kindergarten to 12 uh, some of them it's written there and some explanations it's a little bit difficulties uh, if you want to start it uh, according to your knowledge you can click some of them yeah uh, the, a part of these courses also there are some projects parts and out of code in an hour you can learn many things we, we are starting in this lesson grades kindergarten to five okay kindergarten to five and you can select it here the aids are written there uh, we will start with the course a also the other courses as you see here the uh, according to age and uh, the, in this course we will start with course a aids four to seven so in this course a uh, the last year they created by the uh, code.org as you see here some lessons we are saying that lesson one two three two uh, as I remember that lesson 13 yep and here when you finish the course 13 lessons you will be completed here and, and the downside you can see that if you complete some of the parts you can see the green uh, circle and uh, what can I say I don't know and you can click here the f for the first lesson if you see that unplugged activity they are just only video uh, it's explaining to you how you can continue you what you should know okay and let's try it with uh, the first lesson so uh, in that place, as you see here in the digital citizenship, uh, this is the first lesson, just one video, and the other is 12 small parts, the second lesson. Okay, in the first one, let's watch and listen it. Hi, I am seven years old. I love playing on my mom's computer, but I always get permission first. Mom, can I go on the computer? Sure, sweetie. I love my mom's computer because I can go on the internet. The internet is kind of like your neighborhood. You can visit cool places. You can talk to family and friends. And you can learn lots of new things. Like yesterday, I visited a zoo that's near my house. I saw a baby zebra. I took her picture and changed the color of her stripes. Then added a hat and added it to my collection of wacky animals. Awesome! Then later, 
I went to a place far, far away. I visited Kenya. That's the country in Africa. Lots of zebras live there. Wow, that's a lot of zebras. Sometimes on the internet, I talk to people I know. Like my grandma, who lives in another state. Hi, grandma. She's making me cookies that she'll send me for my birthday. Yummy, I wish the internet had smell o -rama. I can talk to different people on the internet, like my cousin. But I only talk to people I know. But what I like most on the internet is that I get to play a fun game. Score! I also like to draw and create new things and share it with my friends. Cool! Sometimes I visit websites where I learn new things, but I always stick to websites that are just right for me. Wow, dinosaurs. The internet is a super fun place, but just like when you cross the street in your neighborhood, you also have to be careful when you go online. Here are three rules to remember. Rule number one, always ask your parents first. Rule number two, only talk to people you know. Rule number three, stick to places that are just right for you. Wow, that was fun. Dinner time. I'm logging off now. I can't wait to get back on again to see where I can visit next. Bye bye. Okay, as you see here, this is the source commonsense.org slash education. Okay, when you complete that, if you want, if you want to uh, watch and listen that, you can click the download video uh, and also continue to the next lesson. This is the lesson two, and there are some small parts we said that. And if you want to continue that, just read and also you can listen it. You just click the OK button. And the first thing is, you know, this is the very easy. Just click the uh, picture. And if you follow the instructions, for example, here, drag the block to, to the target. After then, just you can click that and then put it in your place. And you can pass it in the second part. The third part, you know that this is just uh, for um, just kindergarten uh, scholars or whatever you say. And the first step, actually, if you uh, do it, okay, uh, even your age, more than 30 or 40, just you are uh, making some improvements with that. And the next lessons, if you see some instructions inside of that, uh, maybe you can remember that, oh, it will be like that. Uh, I need to move the first and the second one is here, the third one is here, and some parts it should be completed. Now, it will be very uh, important. Actually, uh, this, these parts, these the kindergarten parts, this is the first level, and it's very important for our children, our scholars, okay? And in a couple of minutes you can pass it, you know, uh, it can make some improvements uh, their uh, skills okay just we are clicking continue and some a couple of uh, pieces more actually we can understand it here uh, some parts uh, from the top to down if you don't separate it you cannot uh, move to appropriate uh, area the last two in the lesson two you know, the, the difference is here, the blocks part, blocks bar, whatever you say, you can see on the screen. Before that, there were no any parts, okay? From here, at the next levels, we will see that the workspace part and the blocks part on code.org. 
Okay, as you see here, you completed the, the second lesson. If you click to finish, it will go to third lesson. Unplug activity, as I said, this is just video. You can watch and listen it. So, what you want to do, if you want to go to your course dashboard, you can click the code uh, icon or from the dashboard. You can see that in the course A, view course. It is showing that uh, which lesson you uh, have to go okay that's very easy uh, I don't know maybe uh, I'm a little bit fast for that but if you uh, enter in this code.org you can make uh, enjoyable times you can do it yourself thank you very much